Hi guys, this is Noelle Lewis from Noelle Lewis Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to make some dragon tail earrings that are inspired by How to Train Your Dragon. I'm going to link the supplies in the description box, box below, and there's also going to be a giveaway. So to get started, first thing you're going to do is take a pen and a piece of paper and just draw out a little dragon tail shape. You can look up some ideas if you want to, and then you're just going to cut it out. You can also use template paper if you want to, which you can purchase at like Walmart or the craft store, and that way it's reusable if you want to make multiple pairs. So once you have your template ready, uh, you're going to take your red ball of clay, make sure it's nice and conditioned, and you're going to roll it out on your pasta machine on probably a one to a three setting and then also the black piece of clay. You're gonna place the template onto one of the pieces and cut it out with an exacto knife or whatever type of blade you have. This part might be easier if you work on a tile because that way your clay will stick down to it and won't be trying to move while you're cutting on it. Once you do the first piece, you want to make sure that you flip your template when you go to the second piece and that will make sure that they're a mirror image. You can just clean up any imperfections with your fingers. Alright, the next thing you're going to do, uh, it might be a little hard to see what I'm doing here, but I'm taking a Sculpey etch and pearl tool, or you can use any round object, like maybe a pen, and I'm just rolling it in between each of the points to create indents, and uh, this is how I make the ridged appearance in between, like dragon wings. And I'm just going back into all the little spots in between, and finding the rounded curve. And now I've baked them. And I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and a really small paintbrush. Sorry my hands kind of blocking my work here. But I'm just painting a skull symbol starting with a simple oval and then I'm filling it in, leaving two little spots for the eyes. So I'm next going to do three little teeth and two little Viking horns. If it's easier, I've also tried cutting a template out of painter's tape to do it that way. Or if you guys are interested, I can actually show you how to make a cane of this design because I started doing that eventually too. And once that's dry, you could also do this before baking, but I'm taking a small drill here and drilling some little holes. This is just a drill that I made by taking a small drill bit from Home Depot and putting a pattern piece of clay onto it for a handle. I have a few different sizes of these and they work really well in finished clay. And once I've cleaned up my workspace a little bit, I'm going to take two jump rings and an earring wire for each one. Actually, I'm cleaning up the tips here a little bit with a knife to make them fit better. And then I'm going to take my jump rings and a pair of pliers and go ahead and attach those. And 
and I didn't mention this, but as an optional step, you can glaze the piece and that will give it a nice glossy look as well. Alright, so that is just about it. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to participate in the giveaway by sharing and commenting on this video. Thanks!